All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. It's Big Al here. Uh, this time around, we've got a Bell Ballistic 610, I believe it's called. I just picked this one up uh, from Walmart, Wally World, aka Wally World. Uh, and on the receipt right here, it says it costed $14.96. With tax, it was $16.38. Just picked it up. Actually, about uh, 45 minutes, an hour ago. Uh, and here it is. Let me get back down a little bit so we can see the whole, the whole thing here. All right. So it is a keyed lock. I did cut the keys. That's all I did so far. It had a uh, zip tie holding the keys on it. So here's the keys. It does say. I guess it's got a replacement program where you can get a free key if you. Uh, I'm sure if you go online and register the lock. And one of the keys, fancy dancy, comes with a little LED light on the front of it. Pretty cool, right? But there is the key, there is the cut. Not bad, not bad bidding at least. Um, I have not tried it yet. Like I said, I just got it. It's got a dirt cover on it right here. And there's the beautiful lock. Let's see how it works. Okay, so it is spring loaded. I'm not a big fan of those, but and that's how it opens up. Now we're not gonna be able to gut this, I'm sure, because there's about 10 pounds of plastic wrapped around it, but Let's lock it back up and let's see what it takes to pick into this bad boy. I'm gonna just go ahead and leave it in the package. It might be a little awkward, but that's okay. Let's come down a little bit here. So what I probably do is maybe like that. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. One of these, uh, let's see. That one fits pretty good. It's one of those, uh, knurled wrenches from uh, sparrows and since we're using a sparrows tension wrench we should use a sparrows pick so let me see it's a pretty open keyway let's try this one here i forget what it's called it's got the little uh almost like a little ball and a slightly low rise to it it's from the monstrum xxl set from sparrows and it looks like it's going to fit let me see Oh yeah, it fits. All right, so let's see what it takes, huh? Bada boom, bada bang. Going right in the back. Oh, that's not good. Ah, okay. All right, try that again. Little click. And say it feels like that pin in the back didn't want to move. I think, oh man, tension wrench keeps popping off. All right, let's try this again. It is, isn't it? Oh, there we go. That's it. She's open. All right. It was a little awkward, uh, but we got it. It's open. Fair and square. All right. Beautiful. Uh, honestly, uh, this bell lock right here, I didn't feel any security pins. I didn't feel nothing. They literally just went up and clicked into place. So I didn't feel not even a serrated pin. Nothing. Um, and I did find something interesting. I read this uh, before I turned the camera on. Uh, it's got the you know instructions. Basically, uh, wrap the cable around your bicycle frame to something solid. Uh, lock your bike in a uh, 
very visible area, well lit, of course, that's a good idea. And the third and last one, it says, cable locks offer best security when combined with a U-lock. So basically, they are admitting, you know, don't use this lock by itself. Use it to complement a, a real lock, <laughs> I guess, uh, or in addition to a, uh, another lock. So that's it. That'll wrap it up for this uh, Bell Ballistic 610, as it says up here in the box right there. That's where I got the Ballistic 610 from. Okay, uh, that'll do that. Now, um, we've got a couple things I need to say real quick. I've been trying to make a pick for these Abloy locks. Um, I'm getting there. This ain't it. This one's it. But uh, the only tube that I had, I ordered some tube. It's not here yet. So I tried to use a piece that I already had at the house. And uh, I don't think the wall is thick enough for it to work real good, but... It does fit in there and does kind of work, but I have a problem uh, trying to fit it between the uh, between the discs to work correctly. So I'm not quite there yet with the Abloy pick, but I'll get there. All right, so for last week's uh, Pack Lock a Week giveaway, last Sunday was 9-15-19, and the winner for last Sunday is Chris Capune. Chris, now Chris, I know Chris, and I'm pretty sure I have your mailing address. I will check. Um, if not, um, I'll get a hold of you, Chris. Um, but you are the winner for the uh, the uh, Logo Lock Pack Lock 200A. Beautiful locks, by the way. They're wonderful. Um, so you are the winner, Chris. Congratulations. And uh, the rest of you, keep on going. I got plenty of pa Logo Locks to, to go around, the Pack Locks. And uh, that's it. Oh, and I just bought myself a new toy. I had this uh, Abus 3750, what is it, 55, and I just bought its big, bro uh, big brother. I got it yesterday, the uh, 3780. It's a beast of a lock. I'm stoked about it. They're both disc locks. They got the Abus Plus cores. They're beasts. Just beautiful. I'm excited about it. I'm still kind of drooling on this one. But, okay, that'll wrap up this episode of Stock Lock Sunday, and uh, the uh, Logo Lock Pack Lock continues, so... Com uh, comment on this video and let me know your U.S. As far as the subscriber giveaway video I put up on Wednesday, it will run until Wednesday. And then we'll pick the winners for that on Wednesday, okay? Fair enough? All right, thank you all so much. I highly appreciate you. Big Al, signing out.